Hey guys, welcome to uh, March 29th, March 29th's uh, live stream. So I know initially the title was going to be about mostly just Apple Care, but the Galaxy S8 did get announced today. So I'm going to spend probably half the time talking about the S8 and then half the time talking about at what point does the at what point does Apple Care Plus actually become a rip off. So let's kind of get started. So the S8, this, I've got an S7 Edge. I've actually got an S7 downstairs and these are probably my least used devices in my entire circulation, but they hold some of them. One of the most important pieces is that all my uh, iPhone accessories get recorded with an S7 or an S7 Edge. So I have it sitting in one of those uh, beast grip cases. And so I'm finally gonna sell these things and hopefully get enough to uh, buy an actual S8. Hello Firebird, number one, hello to you. So I've got a bunch of, I've got a list of uh, features that I've pulled off of Samsung's website that I think might be interesting. And there's only one on this list that I think might be, we'll say game changing in a sense, because everything else is just a bland upgrade from what exists right now. Noah Gerber, hello. Game Master, um, well, hi from Canada. To the UK, I guess. Jack Blue 2014. Hello. So the first thing that stood popped out in my mind was the uh, Quad HD display on the Galaxy S8. Quad HD. Ah, is that not 4K? Am I am I missing something here? Do we have to call 4K resolution something else now for the phones? I don't know. But I'm sure it's going to look great. I do like the AMOLED uh, screens on the Galaxy devices, though they tend to get, they're way too bright for me for some odd reason. Like I kind of like the uh, dullness, we'll see, of the iPhone 7 screens. The iPhone 7 uh, LCD screens are actually pretty decent, um, in my opinion. Firebird, I don't know. Samsung, they make great products, but I don't think they're going to destroy. There's no, they're not going to kill the iPhone or anything. Quad is 2K, okay. Quad, the four quad is only 2K resolution. Still doesn't make any sense to me. But thanks for clarifying that MacBook Pro Z. Caleb Washburn, hello, Shane G. Hey, Barbados. Oh, I wish I was in someplace warm. Chase Hoskins, hello, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Jelly Vermont, I get all my cases thanks to your reviews. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, number one's from Texas. Number one's from Texas. Uh, the other thing, second thing that I kind of pulled uh, from the website, Samsung's website, is that it still has a fingerprint sensor. And I initially thought that Samsung was going to take a leap forward and somehow incorporate the uh, fingerprint sensor into the screen of their device, but it's actually on the back. So I, I'm not sure how much I'd like that on the back. I used a... Uh, I don't remember what I used, but I had one of those fingerprint sensors on the back and it was neat, but maybe because I'm just used to pushing something in the middle of the phone, I'm not quite sure about the thing on the back, but still that's like, it's not an upgrade. It's a side grade. They move something around. Third thing I thought was pretty cool was iris scanning and facial recognition. So you get to unlock your phone with your face, which is, I think pretty cool, but I don't actually have finger, all my fingerprints on I don't actually do the touch ID on a lot of my iPhones, mostly because, well, what happens if somebody manages to knock me out and use my fingerprints to access my device? I still use that six digit uh, pin. Now it's just even easier because they could knock me out and just point my phone at my face and do whatever they want to do. Luis Fables is from Puerto Rico. Anthony Hauser, hey, what's up, big fan? You're the only person who reviews the stuff the right way. Thank you, Anthony. Will Samsung and EU have a wireless charging? Anyone know? I don't know. MacBook Pros. Caleb Washburn. Great videos. Very useful. Well, thank you for uh, commenting. Sean Ajax. Hey. To the UK. Again. Um, the other thing. So the iris facial recognition, I'm not quite sure about. But, you know, it, it'll be a nifty feature. I personally don't know if I would use it. I don't elaborate on that why. Expandable storage. So these guys have expandable storage. This is a 32 gigabytes uh, S7 Edge. 
I don't have expandable storage. And if you guys have been watching, if you guys watched my uh, Kooner battery case review, you kind of know why I don't really care much for expandable storage. Mostly because it's like buying a house. You buy a bigger house, you put more crap into it. You get more storage on your devices, you're gonna put more crap onto it. And then you just don't clean the crap out. And then you just have a bunch of stuff that you really don't need on your devices. And so that's kind of my thoughts on the upgradable storage. It's a nice to have feature, but it's not a deal breaker for me. Uh, they released Samsung is incorporating Bixby into um, their device. And I think they have a, its own button on the side. And Bixby um, is, it was made by the creators of Siri. So that's, that should be pretty cool. But my question to you guys is, how often do you guys use those vir virtual personal assistants? Um, let me know right now, because I'm kind of curious because I use Siri quite a bit, but it's for one thing. It's when I'm walking um, Monty and I need to change the playlist or I need to change the volume and that's it. That's basically the only time that I use Siri on a day-to-day -day basis. So let me know what you guys use it for in the comments section below. I'll go through a few more comments. Uh, the Parker said, once I found out the fingerprint sensor going in the back, when I was done. <laughs> Jules Vermont, based on the rumors, do you think the iPhone 8 will beat the GS8? It's hard to compare because they're not being released at the same time. And Samsung and, I, and Apple both have different priorities, I guess, when it comes to um, their devices. From a hardware perspective, I don't even know. I don't think so. I think they're going to be almost equivalent. Like, honest to goodness, there's very little difference between these devices. You can go pick at the minute details, but what they accomplish at the end, kind of the same. Chase Hawkins, I would be, I would only watch myself too for case reviews. <laughs> Anthony, don't you think the Apple products have been getting less and less durable along with the iPad? They've been like crazy, same with the iPhone. I actually disagree, Anthony. The iPhone 6 has been quite easily. The iPhone 6s and the 7s, I have yet to return an iPhone because the frame has bent, despite all my dropping despite dropping lots of iPhones. The six broke a lot. Um, the fives bent a lot at the SIM tray, but from a durability standpoint, I have not noticed a change in the durability. Um, with that being said, the screen is tougher, but I've struck enough iPhones without breaking the screen that the camera, so the screen will break and so will the cameras. So that's kind of something I've noticed for the uh, iPhone sevens. Uh, MacBook Pro said, I didn't see any white color. I saw the spec because my cell company leaked some info on our site. Only saw gray, black, and other color. I really want to white. Yeah, white. I guess you have, you're going to have to get a skin. And the neat thing about the, uh, I didn't know this, Gorilla Glass is going to be on the back. They're on iteration five. I thought they were still on three. So theoretically, it should be really tough. Uh, hey, it's me. Do you remember me? I don't. Sorry, Pingu. Lewis Feebles asked, any high expectations from Apple's? Absolutely. I think with all these rumors for the uh, Galaxy or the iPhone 8 or iPhone 10 or whatever they're going to call it, I think expectations are going to be incredibly high. And I think the stock market's reacting in the same way because their stock prices are still going up. So if you're an investor of, of sorts and you own Apple stock or you have the opportunity, but I would actually go buy it because it's going to keep going up. And then the release day, everyone's going to be so disappointed because their expectations are here. Um, an absolute crap product's going to be down here. And they're just going to like miss that mark by a little bit. And everybody's going to be mad. And then they're going to all sell. That's what always happens on uh, new iPhone day uh, in terms of the stock price. Uh, you don't use it. I don't use it too often. Jamker says, hello, Monty from the UK. Case, yeah, the timer is pretty useful. Uh, based on rumors, I went to Samsung phone once, regretted it. Sean, I, which, uh, Sean Ajax, which uh, Samsung did you go to? Because um, I've, been, I've been using the sixes and sevens, and I honest, they are, they are, for what I do, they are kind of the same to me. Like, almost never Canadian bearded hillbilly. Siri is great for CarPlay, but that's all I really use it for. 
So I haven't actually used CarPlay. I've never been in a vehicle with CarPlay. So that's actually something pretty interesting. Thanks for bringing that up, Canadian Bearded Hill Billy. Uh, number one says virtual assistants are still support, and I, I still kind of have to agree. Oh, there are so many comments. I can't get through these. Um, I saw somebody I knew, Michael Kasunik. I saw you sent me a message. I don't know. I don't think I replied yet. I uh, use it to set alarms. Cool. What phone do you use for your daily driver? Um, I would prefer a seven plus, um, but a lot of the cases come in sevens. So I use the sevens way more than I like to. Firebird, I'm pretty sure I acknowledged you. I don't know what you asked. Um, Pingu, sorry. I don't remember you. I do go through a lot of stuff, but. Acknowledging you right now. I pingu newt. Not. Note. Eh, MacBook Pros. Specs like a week ago. Info was public for an hour. Ah, oh, pretty cool. I guess you leak those out. Who else? What selfie stick? Oh, you asked me the selfie stick. I don't use a selfie stick. I use a selfie case. The loopy case. Larry Rogers, what are your thoughts on the camera on the S8? So I quickly glanced at the... Uh, Quickly glanced at the specs, nothing really stood out. I don't think it has changed much. Um, from what I remember, the imagery, so the S7's camera was way better than the S6's. Stability still goes to the iPhones because you'd use the uh, video stability on the S7's. Footage starts out like this and then it stabilizes out. And it's annoying because a lot of the Stability stuff is almost it's on on the spot for me, right? So first few seconds the video is doing this and that that just frustrates me to no end um, So The only I'm gonna go on with the Samsung s8 the only thing that I think is going to be a game changer and it's gonna take quite a while so I'm Excited to see what Samsung does does with this is that they re, they call they really something called the Samsung DEX or DEX and so it allows you to incorporate or connect a keyboard monitor, or all these things to your iPhone and treat it like a laptop computer. And some of you guys were asking, will the iPad go away? And I think the Samsung DeX is a potential technology that will eliminate the need for tablets. I know there were some Android tablets that allowed you to like plug it in into a, ta a bigger tablet. I think Acer had one a couple years ago. And I think that modularity is going to be the key to the future, but no one's really figured out how to do that modularity portion. If somebody was to try, um, I think Samsung probably has the best chance, but I think that technology or that idea, that concept is going to be something to uh, really pay attention to in the upcoming future. I think Apple has like a patent for something very similar. So it was like a, could you imagine a MacBook Pro where you just plug your iPhone into where the trackpad is and then use the iPhone as a trackpad while controlling the entire device? Like that seems very feasible and very efficient, very efficient use of technology. Um, it's IP68, which is a gray tougher than the iPhone. So yeah, you could it could get wet, but you're still not gonna take it snorkeling because trying to hold a wet phone in the ocean while trying to capture the footage of fish, fishes isn't gonna work well for you. Going on with the comments. Owen, what is the most important Apple product for Apple Care? Just wondering for options, opinions. Owen, I will talk about that in about three minutes. Noah Gerber says hi, Monty. Uh, Sean Ajax, Galaxy S5 a while back when you make the change, it wasn't a great choice. Sean, I do agree. It's tough to switch phones. Like I've bought into the Apple uh, Apple ecosystem, so it's hard to bounce. Like the one thing I miss the most is AirDrop. I cannot get anything to connect, I use AirDroid every once in a while with the Samsung phones, but it's still kind of flaky. It's like, it works 80% of the time, but the AirDrop work for me works like 95% of the time. So I get really annoyed. I get annoyed, I stop using it. Did I miss the ripoff? I'm sorry, MacBook Pros, I don't know what you're referring to. Caleb, what's my favorite phone case? Whatever is on my top 10 list. I really like the Thule Atmos X4. Uh, uh, no gerber. Oh, all right, see ya. Uh, are you still using the moment lens? I have it good quality, but too expensive. Not use on and off, no storage, and I always feel the lens is going to fall off. S Gibbs, I do still use the uh, moment. No, I actually haven't used the moment lens. I think I'm trying to sell it. I'm trying to get them to give me a iPhone 7 version, but apparently I'm not a million dollar uh, or a million subscriber channel, so they don't care about. 
And with the curved glass phones, will it be difficult to get a case that doesn't spoil the day? Beautiful design. That's David Williams. I do. Yes, I think it absolutely will. I see a lot of comments about the S7 saying I dropped my phone and your case, the case that you recommended didn't do a single thing. Well, it's got like the edges are completely exposed on this side. I mean, that's... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, how good is the Rhino Shield Crash Guard? Noah, go to my channel, search Rhino Shield Crash Guard and watch me drop it from 11 feet. It's pretty damn good. June Bug. What kind of dog is Monty? Monty is a schnoodle. Uh, he's a schnauzer poodle cross. Um, on the vid, it says a ripoff. Okay, so two more things. No, one more thing on the uh, S8. Still has a headphone jack. Sorry, Samsung. Apple wins on that one. So on to Apple Care. So Apple Care, in general, overall, I think is useful. Um, but I'm going to talk about Apple Care for laptops, Apple Care for iPads, Apple Care for the Apple Watch, and Apple Care for iPhones. With the laptops, I always get Apple Care. Mostly because my laptop travels with me all the time. And I think out of the six laptops that I've bought in the last 15, no, 17 years, um, the paying for Apple Care has covered, like I have not lost money paying for Apple Care. Because the moment the logic board goes out or like your screen goes out, and it's not because you physically broke it, like something internally comes loose, it's like a $600 repair right off the bat. Apple Care, I think it's. 400 bucks so it's a gr for the laptop my uh, for me personally i definitely would go get it for a mac book um, or for a mac computer or desktop i would not um, it doesn't go anywhere the moment you put it down it's not moving there's no chance that pieces are going to come loose over time so that's that's my opinion for apple care plus for the uh macbooks for the ipads i'm kind of torn for me personally because i generally take very good care of my stuff um I do have Apple Care on this. I do have I've bought Apple Care on all my iPads since. I've not I have yet to use Apple Care on an iPad. So Apple basically just took about $700 worth of my money and I got absolutely nothing out of it. Um so on the flip side though is if you have kids and the, like little kids like to throw things around apparently then getting, at, getting Apple Care for the iPad probably makes a lot of sense. Again, it just really depends on your situation. I would generally default to no for the iPads. Like if you're an adult using an iPad, then no, you don't need Apple Care for it. Uh, Owen Carrera loves the crash guard. Are you going to ever get out of cases, Michael asks? I'm trying to. It's kind of hard because you do one thing. Constantly and like I've got this process set up so very well. So over the next while I've started doing more tip and trick videos Not just for the devices, but for things overall. So I've got I've got my rationale for why the iPhone 7 is still needs a waterproof case I've got a comparison video between plastic and glass screen protectors. I am doing a review of all these um, Mophie cases rather than doing just one case per video. I'm gonna start doing uh, lines of cases uh, so that kind of frees up some more time. I have thought about the software. I still haven't figured out what that might look like. Um, and and games. I have something at the very tip of my head for games. Um, but again, I just haven't had the time to. So hopefully this next couple of months, just streamlining the uh, case reviews is going to give me a bit more free time. Number one, hey, you can plug uh, mostly keyboard to the Samsung, but you need an adapter also Bluetooth can connect to the Galaxy S7. I'm going to try that. I don't know how that would work. Is there a pointer that comes up? That would be weird on my phone. Uh, Sean Ajax, if you still use your iPhone, do you wish the new upgrade gave more than just theater mode? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hunter Caviedes asks, I dropped my iPhone and F up. Should I get the 7 Plus? If you can afford it, absolutely. 7 Plus is my favorite uh, iPhone. Mostly because of the camera. The camera's pretty awesome. Have a blueberry one, T. Would you app? So David is asking, would I recommend Apple Care for iPhones? Yes, absolutely. Um, and I did the math for this. I broke 12 to 14 iPhones, I think, last year for the iPhone 6S. And I actually overpaid to break all those iPhones. I overpaid by about $1,300. 
If you break your iPhone more than five times, it's actually cheaper for you to just pay it all out um, instead of getting Apple Care. So what I do is I buy an iPhone and then I break it twice and then I sell it. Uh, I use the hardware strikes and I sell that as a new iPhone. I get a bit more. And so I, if I was to do that five times, that will cost me $1,300 more than if I was to just buy one iPhone without Apple Care and just replace the screen or get for 450 bucks, uh, purchase another iPhone outright. So that's the break even points for Apple Care. Uh, so that's five iPhones. I don't think normal people are going to break five iPhones. If you were to just, if you keep a device for two years, get Apple Care. It is, they updated the pricing so it's actually really nice now. It's like 40 bucks for a screen, it's 180 uh, for a complete, or a hardware, 140 for a complete replacement. So those prices are way easier to swallow um, if you're only breaking it once or twice. And that peace of mind is also very nice because Apple Care support's just awesome. <laughs> I had I had so much trouble trying to get insurance for my Samsungs that I didn't even bother. That's why you won't see me drop a Samsung because I don't feel like paying an extra. I think it was they said I could get a new one for like six hundred bucks, and I was just like, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna call your bluff. No way the microphone is working. Try moving it away for a second. All right. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Alyssa and Yager asked me, have you tried the Ghost Tech Impact Nautical? So I asked Ghost Tech about the Nautical case and it is, they said they're going to push it hard for the S8 because they're making redesigns to it. That's what Ghost Tech told me. Vermont, Vermont. I still have the original Apple Watch. Did I upgrade the Series 2 or 8 for the new generation? Um, I would wait for the new generation. The only... The only thing I would say to you is if you absolutely hate the battery life on the Apple Watch. Again, it just ends up being another device that you have to charge at night. Um, the Apple Watch Series 2, mine will last three days, which is awesome. My original Apple Watch maybe lasts a day and a bit. So if that thing is bothering you incredibly, then uh, get the Series 2, but I would wait until what Apple comes out with the Series 3. Uh... Number one, cool, thanks for pointing that out. I'm gonna have to try that with the, I don't actually have any more Bluetooth mice. I can't do it, huh. crap. Um, Mr. JDC86, my wife lets my iPhone six month old play with her iPhone 7 plus, what case would you recommend? I would get the biggest, fattest case you po possibly could. Um, a Thule Atmos X4. 360 degree protection, great screen protector, it can handle a six foot drop easily. Um, Spec Presidio Grip has a lot more texture to it. Might be uh, a good choice. Just don't drop it from 10 feet face first because it's not going to protect it. Uh, what else would be a good choice? Those are probably my top picks. For an older child, I would actually go with a loopy case because they can put their finger through the loop and it's not going anywhere. But the kid's not going to be throwing it because they, they know what it is. So put the loop in their hand, it's not going anywhere. Um, but for a six-month-old, probably a Thule case would be... Uh, an OtterBox Symmetry, I, that mum I did a video with, she loves that case. And that thing goes through a lot. It's just covered in food all the time. It's kind of funny. Um, Alyssa, and I will try it for the 7 if they send me. I'll ask them. Um, I'll wait for it to be updated, and then I'll try it. Nathan Coughlin, what do you think about the white front for the product red iPhone? I don't like that. I don't like the white front. I really wish there was a red front with a red back because that would be great. MacBook Pro is I was an Apple fanboy and never used Samsung phone. I was thinking we're going to say to do an unbox from. Um, well, let me know what you think about it and we'll see. Brian Chitester, Chi Tester. Hey, I got a Power Bear case. Have you heard of them? I have not, Brian. Is it any good? A Power Bear case? Also, does it cost more than $12? <laughs> That's my break. The <laughs> $20. If it's less than $20, I'm not going to even bother with it. Um, so, continuing on with the Apple Watch, uh, Apple Care for the Apple Watch. 
So I've bought two Apple Watches so far. Got Apple Care on both of them. I don't know why I bought it. Like my Apple Watches have gotten very scuffed up. They're scratched beyond hell, we'll say. Um, but I can't think of any reason why on my, in my day-to-day -day life that I would break it. Like if I was to fall, then yes. If I was falling, I was to land like this on concrete, then maybe. But you're, I, I don't know. So I wouldn't get the Apple Care for the Apple Watch. So out of the four devices, the laptops, the iPads, iPhones, and Apple Watches, the only one that I would get it would be for the iPhones. I mean, everything else is going to be very situational. I'd stay away. Laptops, definitely get it. Desktops, no. iPads, you have small kids, yes. If you're an adult who's not clumsy, no. iPhones, definitely, yes. Unless you break five of them, then you stop doing that because then that just gets expensive and you're giving Apple money for no reason. And then Apple Watches, no. So that's my spiel on uh, Apple Care. So that's six more minutes. Ask questions away. David Williams won't getting a good case workout much cheaper than getting Apple Care. Um, yes, if you don't ever, if you're very good with your devices, then absolutely getting a good case is probably going to be better than Apple Care. There are the off chance that your iPhone might stop working, um, like a battery. A lot of the times, like I go to the, I go get it. I go to the genius bar like once a month and I'll sit there. And I'll just listen, not because I'm just there to stalk people, but I'm there to do stuff with Apple care. And a lot of the times I'll say about half the times people are complaining about the battery. And so the battery is actually covered under Apple care. So within the two years, if you are, if you think your battery is not good enough, you take it in and they'll swap it out. Um, so that in itself is kind of worth it because the battery life does slowly deteriorate over time. Caleb Washburn, my current case is an Otterbox Defender or 4S. Cool. That's a good setup. I know a lot of people have done that. I've never done it, MacBook Pros. I'll think about it. Um, I can see where can I get that Cooner case for the 7 Plus? So if you go to Cooner Case or kookcase.com, Mike, you might be able to find it for the 7 Plus. I think it's on sale right now, 55 bucks. But I was gonna ask them for a Cooner Case, for a Kook Case for the 7 Plus, because that's just a very useful case. It's kind of like the Ghost Like Atomic. It's just a useful case to have around. Uh, Brian Chitest Chitester, it's 50 bucks. It's, well, I'll check it out. Waterproof battery case, sounds pretty awesome. John Ajax, is there any cases you've reviewed and really liked yourself personally, but your rating system has given it a bad to okay score? I love the Griffin journey on your 6S Plus, but your uh, review wasn't very giving. So my scoring system does a really good job of pointing out flaws. Um, the Cotyby line, Synthesis and VLXT, they're in the mid threes, and they're very good cases. I really like those cases, but because they're so thin, they don't offer a lot of protection. Um, they get penalized um, in my scoring system. So that's, and I've started paying more attention to that. I do say in the videos that this is a lower rated case, but I do like a lot for these reasons. Again, my scoring system, it, it's just a way for me to flush out the features um, in the case. So it's not necessarily a bad score, but it's just a very logical way for me to approach a review. Amrit asks, how does the Apple Care Strike rule work? So as long as you have two hardware strikes and it's physical damage. So this iPhone right here, this crunchy one, this would count as one hardware strike. It was to break the screen again, would count as another hardware strike. But if the damage occurs internally, so if I was to take a hammer um, on this iPhone and smash it, so I put a plastic screen protector, smash it with a hammer, the screen isn't going to break, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to loosen something on the inside of the iPhone. That counts as internal damage, and Apple Care is going to replace that for 40 bucks or or free. Should be no, it's 40 bucks for the sevens. It's free for the sixes. So you have an unlimited amount for those internal breakages because Apple thinks it's their fault. But if you break a screen, uh, that's your fault, and you only get two hardware breaks. So that's how Apple Care works. Emirates, yeah, they basically hand you, I can't 
Some people say it's brand new. Some people say it's refurbished, but it comes with the factory sticker on it. And so it's pretty close to brand new, if not brand new. Matthew Williams is asking about the Rhino Shield and the solid suit. They keep stringing me along saying that it's soon. I know they've had a lot of production problems with it. So the first batches that they uh, released was made on a very small scale. I think it was only 1,500 cases. And they had trouble because that production process was very... Uh, there was a lot of errors that came out when they tried to mass produce it. So I think they had to go back to the drawing board and basically redesign the case. So they say it's still coming. Like I'm in contact with Rhino Shield probably once every three weeks. Because they keep sending me stuff, and their stuff is generally pretty good. Um, 360p picture is asking me which regions will get dual SIM support. I have no idea. Sorry, bud. Mr. JD86, what are your thoughts on the Pelican iPhone cases? Pelican, there was a couple of Pelican cases that were really cool. This Pelican Marine is actually a very decent case. It's a great day, to day case. I wouldn't take it on vacation because there's no way for me to attach it to my body. But for a construction worker, for a landscaper, for a firefighter, this Pelican Marine case is pretty awesome. Now, uh, it'll take me a couple more weeks to get to this uh, case for review. And Joe Vermant, are the AirPods worth buying? I think I released a video a couple weeks ago uh, outlining why I think you should get the AirPods. I generally think yes. I have not been bothered by the fact that there's no headphone jack. I use my AirPods every single day. I've even put down my uh, so drops that sound way better than the AirDrops, but because, yeah, AirPods are just so damn useful and just so easy to switch between devices that, yeah, like they, they're awesome. They've simplified my life a lot. Caleb Washburn, no, you shouldn't get that one because it's, it's too thick. Mike. Loopy spec pursue. Whoa, whoa. You've got a nice case collection there, Mike. Sorry for feeding your addiction. <laughs> hey, Hub, what's the best waterproof case for the 4S? I don't know. I didn't review any of them for the 4Ss. Chris Wolf is asking, is there a rugged case other than the waterproof Otterbox Defender subcase that has a home plastic button cover? Is there a rugged... Um... <laughs> The Griffin Survivor Summit has a plastic cover over the iPhone screen, over the home button. I'm what screen protector do I use on my Galaxies? None. I used a OtterBox Alpha Glass, but I rarely take the S7s out of my house, so I'm not terribly concerned. What happens when you break the screen a third time, Amrit asks? You know, you pay full price for the screen replacement, so 200 bucks. Mr. Kadir 62 what's the worst waterproof case you've ever reviewed? The worst? Probably go back to the fives, and it was, I don't even remember, but you couldn't access any of the buttons. It had a removable lens, which was kind of neat, I think, but... You couldn't do anything with it. Like it was, the, you had to use, do everything on your iPhone, start recording, and then put it in the case. And it wasn't any tougher than like a life proof free. I don't actually think I reviewed it. I put it in the back of my car and it's, I gave it to somebody. Um, Caleb Washburn is asking, can you get Apple Care after you buy the iPhone? Yes, you can within, I think, 90 days now. It was 30 days before, now it's 90 days. David Williams, have you tried Beats X? I have not. I probably won't. Uh, so that's kind of all I got. And the last comment is ridiculous. So, well, that's kind of all I got. You guys don't have any more questions for me. So thank you guys for sticking around. Um, if you have a topic that you want me to uh, cover, um, let me know, send me a message and I'll give it some thoughts. Um, I usually land on an idea to talk about Monday night, Tuesday morning. So anytime between now and then, let me know uh, what you want me to uh, talk about. So thank you guys for sticking around. I do appreciate um, this interactive stuff. I kind of like this live streaming things. Um, so thanks for watching.